there's a whole lot going on in Avengers Infinity War. Blink, and you may just miss something. Aside from being jam packed, full of characters and intertwining plots, there's many a fine detail added to the film that overall flushes out the world, including bits that are easy to miss if you're not looking out for them. So today we are taking a look at some of those smaller aspects and breaking down the references and moments for you in our video Tiny Details You Missed in Avengers Infinity War. Let's get to it. Also, mega spoilers. You've been warned, friends. Let's start off with everybody's favorite friendly neighborhood Spider Man, Peter Parker. Early on in the film, we get a moment with Peter riding the school bus where his Spidey sense kicks in upon Thanos' invasion of Earth. But what some may have not picked up on was another moment in which his Spidey sense hits, right before he's turned to dust. It's the reason why we have that tragic scene between him and Tony Stark, with Peter announcing that he doesn't feel so hot. It's how the character could tell what was about to happen to him, compared to the immediate, unexpected dusting of other heroes that we see appearing on our screens in that painful montage towards the end of the movie. All right, the next detail pertains to one of the smaller members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon. In earlier cinematic appearances, Rocket Raccoon seems to have a bit of an obsession with artificial body parts. The obsession is never fully really explained. It might just be a sense of humor thing. But in the Guardian films, he makes comments about different artificial body parts on individuals that he and the group encounter. In Volume 1, he tries to get Star Lord to retrieve one prisoner's prosthetic leg, and later on, wants to get his grabbers on another dude's cybernetic eye. This happens again in Infinity War, with Rocket taking a particular interest in Bucky's new vibranium arm, asking Bucky how much he wants for it. He also has an eyeball in his possession that he gives to Thor, which I guess he just had, you know, in his pocket. No particular reason, just kinda likes it, it's sort of funny. Alright, moving on to a point that we mentioned in one of our Avengers Infinity War Easter egg lists. Let's talk about that post credit scene. In it, we see Nick Fury and Maria Hill in the midst of half of existence disappearing. While the main focus of the scene is to show that Fury calls Captain Marvel for aid with his space beeper, there's one nice little detail that some fans have noticed. Fury and Hill were driving around in a Nissan Infinity car. Cause, you know, in Infinity War, Nissan Infinity. Infinity, yeah. If you guys are interested in other details like that, make sure you check out our top 10 list on Infinity War Easter eggs. We have three parts of them. Speaking of, we also touched on many an homage and reference to moments in the comics in those Easter egg lists, and how Infinity War adapted certain panels in the comics to fit the film's narrative. These comic adaptations are big driving forces behind a lot of the most memorable moments in the movie, and you may have missed some of these awesome similarities. Much of these almost identical moments have to do with Thanos. This includes the moment in which he snaps to eliminate half of all living beings, the very last shot of Thanos sitting down to watch the sunrise, Thanos' use of the reality stone on Drax and Mantis, and Thanos' encounter with Captain America. The context for most of these panels are quite different in their original form, but the film uses the source material well, leaving them in with appropriate creative liberties that feel more like winks to comic fans rather than bastardizing the stories. Looking at you, Batman vs Superman. Thanos snapping his fingers in the comics happens before any of our heroes challenge the character. Most of them die in a big battle against the Mad Titan. That battle is also when he encounters Captain America, and we get the matching panels to frames. Needless to say, things don't go overly well for the patriotic superhero. Then we have the moment where Thanos uses the reality stone to mess with Drax and Mantis. It's a direct adaptation of what he does to Nebula and his brother Eros, dismantling their bodies into blocks and ribbons. And lastly, the moment of Thanos sitting watching the sunrise is actually taken from the last Infinity Gauntlet issue, issue 6 in the 6 part miniseries. Except this is the ending of that miniseries, after Thanos has submitted to Adam Warlock and has given up his quest for power and the gauntlet and the gems. There's also a lot of comic panel to movie frame adaptations, but definitely check out our easter egg list which will be in the link below for all of the goodness. And lastly, let's take a look at one more detail, one that's a little bit more obscure. In the film, Tony Stark hooks Peter Parker up with a new suit, the Iron Spider suit, which Stark refers to as the 17A Protocol. Aside from featuring the Iron Spider mechanical legs that were pretty unexpected, that suit also has another tiny meaning that some fans have caught on to, the number 17. Back in 1991, Spider-Man Volume 1 Issue 17 was released, which featured Peter Parker dying after a botched attempt to save two window washers and a mother and daughter who were doing laundry atop a roof. After he dies, Parker has an out of body experience and starts to go towards the light, which lands him in the afterlife. This is where he encounters Thanos and death. Thanos is in possession of the Infinity Gems and they fight, with death ultimately sparing him, separating Thanos and Spider Man from their battle. Death then releases them from her realm, and Peter wakes up back in the world of the living. As we mentioned, Spidey is one of the many heroes who ends up turning to dust at the end of the film, so the mention of number 17 and its context was a nice little reference. Alright, there we have it, friends. What other details should we have mentioned in this video? Let us know all of your thoughts in those comments below. If you dug this video, please show us some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons, especially if you want to hang out with us some more. We've also got a ton of other great videos on Infinity War on our channel, so be sure to check those out too, including the ones in the playlist currently flashing on your screen. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all in the next video.